Imagine building a complex web app, maybe an e-commerce store or a real-time dashboard, where dozens of components need to share, update, and react to changing data. Suddenly, your code is filled with tangled state logic, unpredictable bugs, and UI components that just don't sync up. This is the chaos that effective state management solves, and it's exactly where Redux comes in. In this tutorial, you'll unlock the core patterns and practical skills that power the world's most scalable front-end applications. You'll see how Redux centralizes your app's state, ensures every change is predictable and traceable, and supercharges your debugging experience, all while making your code more maintainable and your team more productive. By the end of this session, you'll understand not just what Redux is, but why it remains the gold standard for managing state in large JavaScript and React projects. You'll master its architecture, from actions and reducers to the store and middleware. You'll see how Redux streamlines real-world scenarios like user authentication, shopping carts, and real-time updates, solving problems that would otherwise slow down your project, frustrate your users, and exhaust your team. Whether you're a solo developer or collaborating with a large team, these patterns will help you write scalable, testable, and rock-solid applications. If you want to build apps that scale effortlessly, debug issues in seconds, and keep your code base future-proof, keep watching. And for more in-depth, hands-on tutorials just like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss out on the latest best practices and breakthroughs in modern web development. Imagine your application as a busy city. Each building represents a component, and the people within are the data they hold. In a small city, neighbors shout messages across the street to communicate. This mirrors how local state in React components might suffice for simple apps. But as the city grows, shouting is unreliable. Messages get lost or misunderstood. Redux steps in as the centralized post office. All important messages, actions, are sent to and processed by this post office, which then updates the master city ledger, the store, and delivers news to all buildings that need to know. This centralized approach brings predictability. Everyone knows where to send and find information, reducing confusion and preventing state from diverging. Actions are like mail parcels, containing a type, what happened, and if needed, a payload, the details. Reducers, as the post office clerks, open the mail, read the instructions, and update the city ledger accordingly. This ensures the whole city operates on a single source of truth. The result is an orderly, scalable system where every building can trust the information they receive, no matter how large or complex the city becomes. Consider a relay race, where a baton symbolizes the application's state. Each runner represents a part of your code, a component, a reducer, or middleware. In Redux, only one runner holds the baton at any time, the store. When a change is needed, an action is dispatched, akin to a coach issuing a new instruction during the race. The baton is then handed off through a chain of reducers, each responsible for a segment of the state. Reducers are pure functions. They don't alter the baton directly, but instead hand off a new baton with the appropriate changes applied. Just as a good relay team avoids dropping the baton, Redux ensures state transitions are predictable and traceable, with every change documented through actions. This clear handoff process makes debugging straightforward. You can rewind and replay the race to see exactly where and how the baton changed hands. Middleware acts as on-track support staff, intercepting the baton to make checks, record stats, or even send messages to other teams, perform side effects like logging or API calls, before allowing the race to proceed. This relay analogy highlights Redux's unidirectional data flow and the importance of immutability, ensuring a smooth, error-free race from start to finish. Let's examine the main application entry point, which orchestrates the Redux-powered Todo app. This file imports the Todo's component and sets up the application structure, providing padding for aesthetics and a clear heading. By rendering the Todo's component, it encapsulates all Redux interactions and UI logic, 
ensuring the app remains modular and maintainable. This code file defines the core todo list functionality as a React component seamlessly integrated with Redux. It uses React hooks to connect to the Redux store, handle user input, and dispatch actions for adding, toggling, and removing todos. The component utilizes use selector to retrieve the to-do list from the state and use dispatch to interact with Redux actions. Mutations like toggling completion or removing items are handled with concise event handlers, while the input field supports immediate responsive user interaction. This Redux slice encapsulates all logic for managing the to-do list state. It uses Redux Toolkit's create slice for concise, readable state management. The initial state is an empty array of todos. The reducers handle adding todos with unique IDs, toggling their completion status, and removing them. The prepare callback enables payload shaping for new to-dos, and the use of immer allows mutable-like syntax within reducers. This file is the central logic hub for the to-do feature, ensuring modularity and testability. This file sets up the Redux store using Redux Toolkit's configure store function, integrating the todos reducer. By configuring the store in a dedicated file, you ensure a clear, maintainable architecture and seamless scalability for future features. The store initialization includes sensible defaults such as Redux DevTools support, Thunk middleware, and improved error handling, enabling a robust development experience. This entry point for the React application sets up the provider from React Redux to inject the Redux store into the component tree. By wrapping the app component with provider and passing the store, every nested component gains access to the Redux state and dispatch functionality, ensuring global centralized state management. This foundational setup is crucial for any Redux-powered React app, facilitating robust and predictable data flow. This test file ensures the reliability of to-do state logic by rigorously testing all reducers. It validates initial state, adding, toggling, and removing todos, providing confidence in the correctness of state transitions. Using Jest's describe and it blocks, each reducer is tested as a pure function, guaranteeing deterministic and predictable behavior. Such unit tests are an essential component of robust Redux development workflows. This configuration file lists all project dependencies, scripts, and metadata. It specifies the use of React, Redux Toolkit, and React Redux, as well as dev dependencies for testing with Jest and React testing library. The scripts block enables streamlined development and testing. Having a well-structured package, JSON ensures reliable project setup and reproducibility for all contributors. The application opens to a welcoming interface showcasing Redux-powered state management features. A login form appears, prompting for credentials. The user enters admin as the username and Redux Bagwan23 as the password, then clicks the login button. Upon successful login, a notification confirms authentication, and user information is displayed, indicating the user is now authenticated. Next, attention turns to the e-commerce section. The user clicks the Add React Redux Book button, adding the item to the shopping cart. A notification briefly appears confirming the addition. The user proceeds to add two more items, RTK T-shirt and Redux Toolkit sticker, each followed by a momentary confirmation. Now, the cart contains multiple products, each item displayed with its name, quantity, and controls for managing the cart. The user increases the quantity of the first product using the Increase Quantity button, then decreases it using the Decrease Quantity button, observing the cart update in real time. To modify the cart further, the user removes the second item by clicking its Remove from Cart button. The cart updates, and another notification confirms the change. To start fresh, the user clicks the Empty Cart button, clearing all items. A notification confirms the cart has been emptied, and the cart display reflects this state. The focus shifts to the todo management area. In the input field labeled Add a todo, 
the user types Read Redux Docs and clicks the Add Todo button. The new Todo appears in the list below. The user repeats this process, entering Implement Async Thunk and clicking Add Todo. Both Todos are now listed, each with controls for toggling and removal. To mark progress, the user clicks the Toggle Complete button on the first Todo, which visually updates to indicate completion. The user then removes the second to-do using its Remove button, causing it to disappear from the list. The current state of the to-dos is visible, with one completed and one removed. To tidy up, the user clicks the Clear Completed button, removing any completed to-dos from the list. The updated list is displayed, and the notification area reflects these changes. Next, the user scrolls down to view the notification bar and a dashboard section that displays live events. After a short wait, a simulated server event arrives, updating the dashboard in real time to demonstrate Redux's ability to handle live data. Finally, the user clicks the logout button. The interface updates to reflect the logged out state, and a notification confirms the user has been logged out. The UI returns to its initial state, ready for the next session, demonstrating the full cycle of state management in a modern Redux application. You've just unlocked the fundamentals and advanced patterns of Redux, giving you the power to manage application state with confidence and precision. Whether you're building your first scalable app or refining a production code base, these skills will save you hours and prevent costly bugs. Imagine debugging with surgical precision using Redux dev tools, collaborating seamlessly across your team, and architecting UIs that stand the test of time. All because you understand how to centralize, structure, and test your state the right way. To keep accelerating your mastery with practical, real-world example walkthroughs and deep dives that actually make a difference in your projects, hit subscribe now. Your learning curve just got a turbo boost. Don't miss out on the strategies that will set you apart as a modern developer.